Hello, we are going to discuss this electron nuclear hyperfine interaction. I introduced this last time without explaining what it means. So, today we are going to figure out what it is. Electron nuclear hyperfine interaction. I said that this interaction produces lots of hyperfine lines and let us try to understand the origin of that. So, for that let us take the simplest possible system we can think of which is free radical is is an hydrogen atom. It has one electron of course and one, one proton. So, what we have discussed so far if I try to look at the energy level diagram of this in a given magnetic field for the electron I get a splitting of this kind which is the electron Zeeman splitting corresponding to the electron spin let us call it S of m s equal to minus half and here is equal to plus half. And as we discussed earlier if this is the case then I see a transition which looks like this delta is equal to B and this will be equal to H nu. So, for a fixed frequency experiment the EPS spectrum will look like I will draw it here. Yeah, this is the magnetic field. So, this corresponds to the energy of transition which satisfies this relationship. But what it is found that if the experiment is done this spectrum does not look like this but it appears to be this type of thing. And function of magnetic field it gives one line here another line there with respect to center. There is no line exactly at the middle of that. And so, this line appear line is split into two in case of hydrogen atom. So, we call them of course, the hyperfine line of hydrogen atom. By the way, this gap is actually almost 500 and 6 gauss or so approximately quite a large splitting. What is happening there? Why they, Why does hydrogen atom give two lines and not one as you expected from this set of thing? So, one simpler, simplest way to look at is that this is probably not the complete energy level diagram of hydrogen atom, something else is happening. So, if I get two lines naturally there will be two transitions involved there. What is the origin of that? Try to look at it, there is electron there and a proton there. Proton also has a magnetic moment. So, in a magnetic field this will also align according to its nuclear spin state which is so I equal to half m i equal to plus minus half. So, it will be either along the magnetic field or opposite direction. Now, the electron which is present there in the atom, it finds itself in the presence of two magnetic field. One is the external magnetic field that is applied by the spectrometer and second one is the local magnetic field the proton produces. Now, you see that there are two are remnant of the proton spin. So, that means the local magnetic field that the proton produces either adds to the external field or it subtracts 
the external magnetic field. So, depending upon therefore, the proton spin state, this energy level is going to split now. So, here suppose it appears this way that this splits into two, similar this will also split into two depending upon the what nuclear spin is associated with the electron spin of minus half. So, this could be now m s equal to minus half and m of i equal equal to plus half let us say this could be m s equal to minus half and m i could be will also be minus half. Remember that electron z 1 interaction is much stronger than the nuclear z 1 interaction. But here we are not looking at the electron z 1 interaction, but it is the interaction of the electron magnetic moment interacting with the nuclear magnetic moment. So, the splitting is given by this. Similarly, here m s equal to minus half and m i equal to sorry m s equal to plus half and m i equal to minus half and this will be m s equal to plus half and m s equal to plus half there. So, the, why this arrangement is of this kind that we will see again later very soon in fact, but let us take it to be true. Now, there are four arrangements now where earlier we had two and EPR spectroscopy it is the electron spin which changes nuclear spin does not NMR spectroscopy is the nuclear spin does that changes not the electron spin. So, here if you draw the line correspondingly without flipping the nuclear spin you see that one transition will go from here to there m is equal to minus half plus half m i remains plus half and plus half here another one m s equal to minus half to plus half m i remains same and minus half and minus half. So, you see the two transitions corresponds to two different energies and that will be reflected here in two different types of magnetic field. So, this the splitting that you see here is therefore, coming from this possible orientation of the nuclear spin in a magnetic field. In one proton I get possible orientations of two types I get two lines of this kind. I get two lines here and these are called therefore, hyperfine lines coming from the one proton. So, spin i equal to Now, suppose I have got more than one such nuclei which has got spin halves. What could be the simplest example? For hydrogen atom, I can go to this hydrogen molecule and it has got two two protons and there identical in all respects we call them two equivalent protons. So, we go through similar argument now that in a magnetic field these two protons can align let us say all of them can align this way or this one can be up other can be down or this could be down this could be up or both could be down. These are the possible nuclear spin orientation in a magnetic field and each of them give us to a local magnetic field that the electron will see. So, so, this energy level that I have drawn here 
will be modified in this fashion. I have got these two energy levels for For this electron spin of minus half, this is the possible nuclear spin. So, this will split into this. Now, imagine here the electrons nuclear spin of 1 is opposite to nuclear of second 1. So, net local magnetic field due to this combination will be 0. Here it will be higher, this will be lower, or this will be lower, or this could be higher. So, let us write in this fashion that this will be total spin of nuclei could be plus half plus half plus half minus half this will be these are the possible my component there. Similarly here okay. the electron spin is plus half this will also have th three types of nuclear spin arrangement. So, I write in this way so I can draw the splitting of the energy levels due to the nuclei could be drawn in this fashion that this is split into 3. So, this energy level also split into 3. Now, we follow the same conversation earlier that when the EP electron parametric resonance transition takes place, nuclear spin do not change, electron spin does. So, transition from this to this, one possibility. Another possibility is from this to this, a third one is from this to this. And you see that since the energy gaps are different, so they will appear a different magnetic field. But the middle one is exactly the same as here because the nuclear spins are just opposite to each other. So, that does not contribute to any change in the local magnetic field. So, this spectrum, therefore, if I have to what we predict from here is that EPR spectrum of this hydrogen molecule ion should look like this. The function of magnetic field, this will look like true, this is the way, but this is not quite true. The three lines of equal intensity that comes from this sort of argument is not quite true. The reason is that see the number of possible allowed nuclear configuration is of this kind. So, even though there are three energy levels, you see that number of molecules that will appear here will be I say two of them there, similarly two of them there because the first proton spin could be up, second could be down or first could be down, second could be up, both are equally likely. So, in a sense there are you may either call it the two energy levels are there which are degenerate or the number of particles that are distributed here will be such that there will be twice of the number of particles here compared to this and this. So, the intensity of the IPR line will be twice now this kind. So, this is if I expect 1 is to 2 is to 1 type of intensity for this system there. What we had here? that this four energy levels are there, all levels are almost equally likely. So, intensity of number of particles that this molecule transition will be seen and number of molecules that this transition will be seen will be exactly equal, this will be 1 is to 1. So, you see how therefore, the relative intensity change as the number of nuclei which are producing the splitting change. Here both are spin half system, so I get a splitting of 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now, here I could therefore take the example that I showed last time is that this 
2, 5 diatrisobutyl semiquinone anion radical gives a spectrum which in actually in density is 1 is to 2 is to 1 type of thing. And the origin of this now could be easy to visualize that you see one proton is here, another proton is here and they are equivalent in all respects. So, I have can have argument of this kind the way this nuclear spins of this two protons are aligned gives rise to this sort of spectrum with intensity 1 is to 2 is to 1. It also shows lot of other things is that electron though we draw here in the structure electron is sitting here, but that is only the crudest possible picture. The unpaired yeah. electron is present throughout the pi cloud of the benzene ring and interacting with all the ring protons. The API spectrum shows this. So, in a sense the measure of the splitting here or here is a measure of the strength of the interaction of the electron and the nucleus. So, we can continue further with this sort of argument that if I were more than two spin half nuclei what will be the corresponding EPR spectrum. Let us do one more and then we will generalize after that. Suppose we have a system of three protons and that is also a radical something I can think of is let us say methyl radical. These three protons are equivalent in all respect. So, I could draw similar energy level diagram as earlier for electron this is the m s equal to minus half and here m s equal to plus half. Now, we have got three protons and all of them will align in a manner difficult according to plus half or minus of each of them. So, I can get this sort of possible orientation. Could be up, 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 all three could be up, one possibility, or this will be up, down, up. Only one down, two ups, or could be two down, one up. or all three could be down, these are the possible elect nuclear spin in a magnetic field now. See here that each of them now gives us to local magnetic field that the electron we will see is different for all three of them. Maximum difference will be here, maximum here and minimum there, but nevertheless each of them will be appearing as a splitting of energy levels here. Now, so, what do we expect now considering what we have discussed here? This each of these levels will be split into four lines now. So, it will be similar here. We so, if we write the corresponding total m i the total nuclear spin this becomes plus 3 by 2 this becomes plus half this becomes minus half this becomes minus 3 by 2. So, this will split let us say it will be this is the possible values of the proton spin total angular momentum quantum number. Similarly, here this will be minus 3 by 2 minus half plus up plus 3 by 2. Now, the same argument is hardly exactly same the transition will be from the level 1 to the other level which does not involve any change of the nuclear spin. So, that transition is here to here other is from here to there and then these 4 transitions are possible there. So, the EPS spectrum will consist of 4 lines, but will the intensity be equal? Certainly not. See the way we had this 1 is to 2 is to 1 intensity ratios can be now extended to this number of possible 
arrangement for this, this and this is, this is one type if you say one unit, this will be thrice the number of molecule will be having this sort of nuclear spin configuration. This becomes three, this also becomes three, this becomes one. So, the nuclear spectrum will therefore look like function magnetic field, this will look like this so with the intensity ratio of 1, 3, 3, 1. So, it gives 4 hyperfine line and the energy gap of this will be same as this, will be same as this because the energy gap between this, this, this is same as when this, this and this and that in turn comes from the magnetic field that this sort of arrangement of nuclear spin produces at the electron. So, you can see now pattern now, let us summarize now how we can uh, get this various line and then we will generalize it. So, so bare electron it gives one line spectrum, one spin half nucleus gives a splitting of this kind. So, this is the center of this one. So, this means it is splitting due to the one spin half nucleus. In our case, it is a proton. If you have two of them, then the splitting looks like this. So, here it was 1 is to 1, now 1. 2, 1. If I have got 3 spin half nuclei, then I get a splitting which looks like this 1, 1, 3. So, this sort of splitting that comes from the equivalent nuclei of spin half has certain pattern. These numbers are supposed to be familiar to some of you is that they come from the binomial expansion of a plus b to the power n if you do it. The binomial coefficients have exactly same number. So, these numbers can be generated in the form of triangle we call Pascal triangle. Let us say I have got one here then 1 is to 1, then 1, 2, 1, see, then I have got 1, 3, 3, 1. The triangle is generated in this fashion that if we starting from 1, let us go one step below, I add the number which is directly the top left and top right, we take sum of these two, assume there is 0 kept there. So, here this this plus this gives this number, 0 and 1 gives 1. Similarly, so here 1 and 0 gives 1. Go down, here again I add the numbers which are directly to the left and to the right. Imagine there is 0 there. So, this 1 comes from the sum of this and this is 1, and this 2 comes from the sum of this 1 and 1, 2, this comes 1, 1, 0 and 1 is 1 here. So, Every step we just add the two numbers for the left side and right hand side and add the two to get a number below that. So, this triangle is called the Pascal triangle. Next one, same way, same way it goes here, here, this is 0 there, gives 1, and this and this gives 3, and this and this gives 1, and this and this which is 0 gives 1, 3, 3, 1. We can therefore generalize that. So, if I have got now, 4 spin half nuclei, I can easily predict the spectrum which will look like from this Pascal triangle, it will be 1, add the 2, 4, this will be 6, add the 2, this will become 4, become 1. So,
this is the Pascal triangle. So, you keep on generalizing this. So, this example of is given here, we saw earlier. this one. This radical has four equivalent protons, they are equivalent in all respects. So, four equivalent proton gives rise to five lines as predicted by this generalization. So, intensity ratio is 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So, here if you measure carefully, this is almost equal to 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1. See? how beautifully this agrees with our prediction. So, this way we can predict the spectrum of more complicated radicals and that sort of example and their interpretation we will take up later and right now we just summarize that from the EPR spectrum we, when you get lots of such hyperfine line we can very easily characterize or even guess very intelligently the nature of the radical, what sort of nuclei which are present there which can give rise to such hyperfine lines and from there we can characterize it almost unambiguously what the radical that could be. So, before we close we just take one more example which is somewhat different from spin half, this is generalized only for spin half nucleus. Suppose the nuclear spin is not half, it could be 1 carbon 13 spin half, but nitrogen 14 is spin 1. So, if what happens if the nuclear spin is 1, then I equal to 1 and its component M i will be minus 1, 0, plus 1. So, in a magnetic field, this nuclei will ori also orient in 3 possible directions and it will produce local magnetic field which will be having 3 different values. This will not have no magnetic field. So, if I draw the hypothetically energy level diagram of one electron interacting with a nucleus of this kind, what do I see? First the electron Z1 splitting will look like this, this is the m s equal to minus half, m s equal to plus half. So, when this electron sees the presence of the nuclear spin, the it will split into three energy levels, m i equal to plus 1. 0, 1, this will spread into 3, m i equal to minus 1, 0, m i equal to 1. And then based on this condition that when the EPR transition takes place, electron spin changes from minus half to plus half, but the nuclear spin do not change. So, that allows me to have these three transitions from 1 to here to here, from here to here and third one is from here to there. So, these three transitions will be reflected here in the spectrum that earlier the spectrum was here when there was no electron nuclear interaction. Now, this is split into three because of these three energy levels here. So, I get transition which looks like this. One is exactly below the other because this energy level is same as that is here. So, what about the intensity ratio? You see that each of these three levels have exactly equal population 1 is to 1 is to 1, here also 1 is to 1 is to 1. So, that will be reflected in the intensity of this will also be 1 is to 1 is to 1. So, if the total nuclear spin is 1 here I get three levels compare that with sorry, H2 type of system where was the total nuclear spin was 1, but they were coming from two protons of m i equal to half and half or, or minus half or plus half or minus half or minus half. So, these are giving rise to 1 is 0 minus 1 which is very similar to this, but here the EPS spectrum looked like this that I got 1 is to 2 is to 1, but on the other hand here, here we have got 1 is to 1 is to 1. The reason is again obvious that here this transition involved energy levels where twice the number of particles that could stay here, but here all the levels have just same number of particles. So, 
I get 1 is to 1 is to 1 here, 1 is to 2 is to 1. This also shows the power of UR spectroscopy that by knowing the not only the number of lines and also the pattern of relative intensities, I can guess very accurately the type of nuclei which are causing the splitting. If I say 1 is to 2 is to 1, I will most certainly be able to say that 2 spin half nuclei are causing the splitting. I may not be able to know, say that it is coming from the 2 protons if I do not know the chemical nature of that. But the fact that I see this intensity ratio that they must come from the 2 spin half nuclei. Similarly, if I see a pattern of this kind 1 is to 1 is to 1, you can most certainly say that this comes from the nucleus whose spin is 1. It may be nitrogen 15, I am sorry nitrogen 14, but I, unless I know the chemical nature, I will not be able to say that. So, the example of that is given here, this one. Here, if you see that this free radical center O dot is near a nitrogen, this nitrogen nuclear spin is 14. So, that is exactly what we have discussed here and we predict that the intensity will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 and that is what is seen here. So, with this we stop our discussion of the hyperfine interaction and later we will continue to find the origin of this interaction.